just had a very wonderful trip down the slide. However, it's the thrill of the sport rather than the victory that really counts in bobsledding. It is my purpose today <clears throat> to lay before you certain points which the American delegation will advocate. One, the American government advocates consideration of the draft convention as containing the outline of a convenient basis for discussion while expressing its entire willingness to give full consideration to any supplementary proposals calculated to advance the ends we all seek. Two, we suggest the possibility of prolonging the existing naval agreements concluded at Washington and London, and we advocate completing the latter as soon as possible by the adherence of France and Italy. Three, we advocate proportional reductions from the figures laid down in the Washington and London agreements on naval tonnage as soon as all parties to the Washington agreement have entered this framework. Four, we advocate, as we long have done, the total abolition of the submarine. Five, we will join in formulating the most effective measures to protect civilian populations against bombing from the air. Six, we advocate the total abolition of lethal gases and bacteriological warfare. The burden and dangers of the gigantic machinery of warfare which are now being maintained in times of peace have reached a point where they threaten civilization itself. The delegation of the United States is representing not only a government, but a people. And the mandate from both is in the same unmistakable terms, that decrease in arms is an essential, not alone to economic recovery of the world, but also to the preservation of the whole fabric of peace. Boys, as uh, Babe Ruth has already uh, stated that the Yankees of the pennant uh, already won, but they feel that it's up to you boys to show him that he's all wrong. And I'm sure that a few boys who go into the game with the same spirit that you have shown in the last three years that uh, the A's of the club that's going to win that pennant. Krauss is pitching. Earl Mac is catching. Cochran is at the bat. You think you'll make it, Not very well, Jim. Bing Miller at the bat, the boy who comes through in the pinches. Jimmy Fox. Is that the bat, the boy that hits him out of the lot? Out, too, I mean, out. Dib Williams at the bat, our shortstop. That's not the way to do it now. Here's the way you should do it. Let me show you here. See, that's the way to do it, like that. Hit it right out straight. See, you got the... Hold the bat well up high, and then let it go right through. There are assembled here in the capital of New Jersey, probably the greatest police minds, not only in the United States, but in the world. And I, as governor of New Jersey, 
I want to express to them the gratitude of the people of this state and of myself for their ready and generous cooperation. They have come here from many miles, some of them, with one thought in mind. The important thing in this case is, of course, the return of the Lindbergh baby. Police of every state in the Union and the long arm of the law, as well as the federal government, are united in the search for the criminals and the restoration of the child to its parents. It is our belief that with this knowledge, the kidnappers will soon recognize that their only hope for successful flight and safety lies in their giving up the child by some method that will assure its uh, safe and uh, uninjured return. This is the scene outside the county courthouse in Hartford, Connecticut, when word came that Henry Johnson, sailor friend of Betty Gow, the Lindbergh baby's nurse, had been taken there for questioning. Not since the news of the kidnapping had any development in the case created such intense excitement. And now we are going to take you to Hopewell, New Jersey, where a little country store is the headquarters for newspaper and radio men, flashing day and night their messages throughout the world in the greatest search in history. The press, radio, and telegraph companies have taken headquarters in this lunchroom because of the great importance of the Lindbergh baby kidnapping case. Here the boys are all day and all night pounding out their latest information to be sent to the eager awaiting public. Hello, everybody. We speak to you now from Hopewell, New Jersey. A flash from the Lindbergh estate. It reads as follows. If the kidnappers of our child are unwilling to deal directly, we fully authorize Salvi Spitali and Irving Bitts to act as our go-betweens. We will also follow any other methods suggested by the kidnappers that we can be sure will bring the return of our child. Signed, Charles A. and Anne Lindbergh. Well... 